Okay, so my name is Jay Slevin and we're here in Bellius Town this evening for an evening meeting and um, I'm working with Joseph O'Brien at the minute in Pintown, County Kilkenny. I started as an amateur, I've ridden for seven or eight seasons as an amateur. I started when I was 16 and um, you know, it originally started from home. My father's a trainer and uh, you know, my mother and father are heavily involved. My, my brother is also an amateur jockey and um, you know, the whole family is involved there. And so it was a start from a young age at home. We just enjoyed being around horses. We enjoyed working with them. You know, seven days a week there, we'd be there, you know, working away with the horses, and that's what we enjoy doing. And you know, it never seemed like we'd done a day's work really. My mother and father they always emphasised that going to school was very important. And um, you know, then I done a journalism degree, and I think it's you know, it was a good thing to do. You know, I probably learned a lot about you know just growing up in general and um, you know, having it there to fall back on. I've written a few bits and pieces there here and there and I enjoy doing that, you know. You know should look at horses are like people, every horse is different and um, some horses work very well at home. They don't do it on the race course when they go there, you expect them to run well and they don't perform when they go there. Then you have other horses that are you know, quite lazy at home, maybe just, just lazy work horses and they can surprise you when they go racing, they get lit up by the day and they perform. And it's often the horses that are like that at home they save the best for the races and when they go, they often turn up the best, you know. Well, riding the winners is great, you get a great, uh, you get a great kick out of it. Obviously I love riding winners for the lads at home for my father and uh, obviously I would have worked very closely. When you, I think when you work with a horse every day and bring them along, school them from the start off, and we often break them, bring them along the whole way, get a great kick out of riding the winner for the lads at home. And um, but look, I'm sure it's a great feeling and it's great for the owners and the trainers and everyone involved, it's a lot of hard work. Obviously getting to the races is a finished product, there's a lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes and when, when things work out it's great, you know. But obviously the horses are there being turned out to the best, they've got all the best equipment and uh, obviously I need the same, you know, I've been very lucky to be involved with horseware, they've got the best riding out equipment and they've got great racing gear and um, you know, it's a great comfort going racing knowing you have you know, decent quality uh, gear on you and uh, you know, between, between waterproofs and summer gear and all that, so it's uh, you know it's very important that you're comfortable and happy in yourself and you're you know confident in the equipment that you have going out. It's a great peace of mind, really. Obviously, I'm still trying to improve, trying to get better myself every day. But you know, you just need to keep working. Obviously, um, you know, it was a while before I got any kind of run I had at all. You need to keep working, keep riding as many horses as you can, riding out for as many people as you can. You need to get in with the right people. It's very important. Get the right people around you. And you need to just try to keep improving every day as they watch another lad riding and you know doing all that, just striving to get better the whole time and they're just trying to be the best you can. You know, once you go past the finishing line in front, it's uh, you know makes it all your hard work, it's, it's really really worth it. And then I suppose the biggest problem you have then is trying to go out and find the next winner, you know.